through the uh, bug out bags that we have. Um, these are one of the main bags I just keep in my car. Eventually I want to change this material, the bag, to be something that looks more generic. Um, I really don't want to cause attention and I don't really agree with these bags. This is something I got a while ago. I kind of made my own bag with it and as I've learned um, you kind of want to have a bag that's a little bit inconspicuous, one that looks just like a regular book bag. Maxpedition makes some really good ones. They're a little pri pricey, but you want something that's durable. Um, eventually, um, probably next month, I'm going to update these bags. But right now, I'm just getting them ready uh, because, you know, we have the storm. And um, I've got brand new batteries that I'm ready to, I'm going to put the batteries in the radio. And then later on, I'll take the batteries out. You don't want to leave the batteries in here because eventually uh, you'll get battery corrosion and ruin the radios, especially if you're not using them all that often. Um, the radio I use is the Midland, and this is uh, got a 30 mile range, but that's misleading. When you see that, the 30 mile range, that's like if you have absolutely no <laughs> obstacles whatsoever and uh, that doesn't happen especially so the most you're gonna get is maybe I would guess a mile out of these in the type of terrain that I'm in which is trees and mountains and whatnot but I'm gonna make sure it's set I'm gonna make sure it's set on a frequency um, right off the bat so that's synced up with the other one uh, for my wife and, and that way she doesn't have to think about anything so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get this all situated, and I'll go through the different things that I have in my bag um, for my car, my everyday car. So choose a frequency that, uh, you know, one frequency, let them know what it is, you know, whoever is, you know, the family that's gonna be using the radios. You can get radios that um, can all link up. Uh, you can get, I think, I don't think there's even a limit on the radios. Uh, and you just have them all tuned to the same frequency. Uh, of course, in a real bad raw situation, uh, and if you, it, it, I don't want to hear from the military ops people that, you know, you shouldn't be free using frequency radios because they can pick up on it. And I, I don't, I don't go that crazy. I mean, if, if it's if it's that bad, where. Uh, <laughs> Where, where the military is now hunting us down, or then so be it, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take my death <laughs> and go meet Jesus. Uh, some of the things I have in here, uh, spare medication, um, the paracord. Uh, I usually change this out every six uh, months. Uh, mac and cheese, and what's great about this is it tastes good, it's full of carbs, and uh, although salty, so that's why you make sure you have your water in there, but it, it's just filling, It's uh, and, and it keeps pretty well, uh, and considering this is usually in the uh, heat and cold of a car, so you want to kind of change this out every six months is what I usually do. Um, I got a little stove, folding stove, some medical uh, and shaving and sanitary stuff. Uh, some MREs that I have in here. Beef stew. Uh, of course, can't get anywhere without some toilet paper. Um, what else do we got here? A little cooking uh, 
pot, emergency blanket, this water which I'm taking out, it's time to uh, change it. And what better net time than now? Uh, headlamp, uh, WD-40, um, emergency food rations which uh, this is, I'm at the end of this, this is, uh, will be changed out after this storm. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll be going to get out safe to uh, get some new rations. A uh, little whistle with compass. Uh, these I'm, I'm not using. Usually I keep uh, canned foods in there, but I'm kind of getting away from this. This was really just in case my car broke down or whatever. In this scenario, you want, you want to keep things as light as possible, and this is just heavy, heavy stuff. So when you add everything else. So if you're going to plan on going on foot, so that's just, I, you know, I would have left it behind if, uh, if I had to. Um, I got this little uh, survival knife of paracord and it's got flint in there for fire starting. Uh, this is the actual, goes with the radio that I have, so you have a headset. Um, heat and hand warmers. Of course, uh, plastic utensils, uh, it's 100 hour candle, emergency candle, uh, extra batteries, I just wrap them up in tape and uh, just regular electrical tape and what else do we have here, uh, emergency, ah, sorry can't really see that. It's an emergency uh, wool fiber blanket. And you want to try to use wool. Wool is the best, the most wool you can get. It's, it's, it insulates even when it's wet. So that's part of the key. Uh, just a little tool to, to dig with if I need to. Um, some small amounts of uh, tape. And that's pretty much it. What else do we have here? Okay, just your regular old poncho. And then the front pocket. I have the sterno and the uh, light stick. Eesh, sorry, light stick. I also have the battery that's for the radio. And that's one of the things I like about the Midland radio is you can have the, the ch rechargeable battery and also the uh, it takes regular batteries so I, I love that feature about that uh, and that's it I'm just kind of I also usually keep a little plastic bag for whatever you might need um, it's a little shelter inside there and that's pretty much it that's all I have really uh, work gloves as well um, just to protect your hands in case you know you have to get around glass that might have shattered in your car or whatnot. So, all right, that's it. That's what's in our bags. Um, I'm actually going to be updating them this year and putting a little bit more. And I'm going to try to make it more of a inconspicuous bag. But this is basically what I'm, gonna, I'm preparing for the storm and make sure everybody's. Well, my family, my, my wife and myself, uh, have everything we, we could possibly need. Well, there's no uh, rain yet, and it's uh, 11 p.m. And uh, but the wind has been pretty strong at times. Uh, you know, it's kind of dark out, so you really can't see anything. But, uh... Like I said, the wind, <laughs> he just got hit, camera just got hit by a leaf. Yeah, so, anyway, I gotta throw a charger on this while I still have electricity so I can continue to film. Uh, here is my part of, I mean, I have more water downstairs, but, uh, I just got a phone call from one of the people that I've, you know, kind of, talked about and kind of somewhat got on board on prepping and uh, she was talking about 
<clears throat> uh, how she didn't have any water. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, you know, you can tell people until you're blue in the face and not until they're in the situation will they realize, you know, this isn't a good thing. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going to probably not only start filming if something significant starts to happen. <clears throat> Hopefully I can chill out. I'm going to make sure I get all, you know, take my shower and do everything now and have everything situated where I know where I can find it uh, just in case the power is out when I get up in the morning. All right, that's it. Well, it's Monday morning. Uh, wind is definitely uh, becoming a little bit more consistent. <clears throat> and uh, clouds are definitely picking up speed. And they're saying that this thing's not going to really hit until later, uh, which is crazy. Last night was pretty quiet, and there's really not much rain. Uh, to speak of. In fact, I don't think there was any rain at all last night. <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, I gotta go to work. And I'm probably gonna have to stay at work for quite some time. They're saying that they want us on staff for about 72 hours, so... <laughs> the nature of my biz. I just wish I could stay home and just keep an eye on things, but luckily I have great neighbors. And that's the thing. And I've heard this talked about by a lot of people. Y you want to engage your neighbors. Or at least try to find ones that you can be somewhat on the same page. They, they necessarily can't, don't have to be complete sold out preppers. But one thing I can tell you is at least the issues going on as of late with all these crazy storms. That should help your uh, situation of convincing them make it a little bit easier. At least that's what I'm hoping. We'll have to see. Anyway, I gotta go to work. And so I'm like, I love my camera work. But that's it. I'll try to film if I see anything on the way, and whenever I leave, I'll try to film too. Uh, well, I'm gonna take a look and see what traffic looks like. And then maybe I'll do a video comparison to what it's normally like on a Monday morning. And this is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much more dead than that. crazy and that's pretty much what's going on behind me one one car behind me so this is a good thing most people are staying home listening to uh, the radio at least all right well I'll check in later if I see anything uh, interesting Monday morning rush hour. Early morning rush hour. Well, I can tell you the uh, wind is definitely picking up and I, I've only been driving for maybe uh, 20 minutes. I mean, it's, it's crazy. A couple of good, really nasty That's it. There we go, the lights. 